Louis Spritzer is the greatest voice teacher I've ever had, ever. Bernard Diamant was wonderful, wonderful. But he was basically a singing coach. Can you elaborate why you think Louis Spritzer was the, the best, who I, I, I do agree with? Well, I think for exactly those reasons. Louis was the first voice teacher I ever had who gave it back to me. Um, with, with Monsieur Diamant, um, it was very much trying to figure out what it was he wanted and pleasing him. And we wanted to do that, very much so. And we wanted to hear him say, yes, <laughs> that was good, or whatever it was that he would say. Louis didn't do any of that. Louis said, try this. This might not work, but it might. Try that. Oh, that doesn't work for you. Well, how much of that makes sense to you? And then I'd say, oh, well, that feels like this and that. And then he'd say, oh, does it? Well, then in that case, then try this one next. And I, I constantly felt from Louis that he was asking me to figure out how my body worked, how my mind worked, how my voice wanted to um, expend itself, uh, where it wanted to go. And where my voice was saying, oh, no, sorry, I'm not going to let you do that. And why? And if that was a good thing or a bad thing. If it was a place where I was going to say to my voice, okay, voice, I don't buy that. I'm actually going in that territory anyway because I think I've got something to learn there. Or if it was my voice saying, I really can't do that because if you do that with me, you're going to break me and have me say, okay, voice, <laughs> I respect that and honor that. I will stay away from that territory and I will find another way into the place where I want to go. And Louis gave me all those things by giving me a certain attitude toward it and allowing me to understand that finally I was the only one responsible for what my voice and body did, like him talking to you about your mm -hmm. diet and, mm -hmm. and the air you breathe and the thoughts you think, that finally I was the only one who was ever going to be able to know what that was like for me.